So welcome to the Euro 2024, how will it finish? Group C and Group D. Up first, Slovenia versus Denmark is a win for Slovenia. Benjamin Sesko masterclass, maybe. Right then, up next is going to be Serbia versus England. England get the win. Next then, we move into Group D then. Poland versus Netherlands up first is a win for Poland. What's happened to the Netherlands? So then up next then is going to be Austria versus France then in the first game. It's going to be a win for France. So we move then into match day two then. Slovenia versus Serbia in match day two is a win for Serbia. Up next then is going to be uh, Denmark versus England then. In Group C, it's a win for England. Then at match day two then for Group D, Poland, Austria is going to be a win for Austria. Next then, probably one of the biggest games in the group stage is Netherlands versus France. I think Netherlands need to win. Oh brother, it's not looking good. So then the final games of Group C and Group D then, England, Slovenia is a 3-3 draw. What a game. The final game of Group C then is Denmark versus Serbia. Serbia probably have to win this, and they do. What a terrible tournament for Denmark. Moving to the final two games then in Group D. I mean, Netherlands at home, Austria away, need to win, and they do. And finally then, the last game of Group D, France versus Poland is going to be a win for France. I've got no idea who goes through a second place, but France go through a 100% record. 